I do want to test it in my bathroom because you see like stuff like this it's a real pain in the butt and the vacuum doesn't really pick up well in here I usually have to sweep so I'm gonna see how this cordless vac does because this is really what I want to use it for Hi friends! So I am so excited to try this vacuum out because I'm in really need a new cordless vac. The one that I had for years just died on me. And Go Clean Co on Instagram, she did a whole review on really expensive cordless vacs, really cheap cordless vacs, and she rated this one really high. And it was cheap and it was, it was off of Amazon, so I ordered it and now I'm gonna give it my own test to let you guys know if it's really worth it. For me, I'm going to test it on my stairs, test it on my hardwoods, and test it with my kids being able to use it because those are the three things that I need my cordless vac for. Right now, my kids, it's hard for them to vacuum with our regular vacuum, my Shark Duo Clean, which I absolutely love, but it's really heavy for them. So something like this, the height would be per is gonna be perfect for them. So let me go ahead, open it up, and show you guys what it looks like. The brand is by Roomy Tech. And this is the Rumi Tech Elite. And okay, here are the attachments that it comes with, of course, your rolling head. And this was the one that really made me wanna buy it because you can do easily do your baseboards with this. And I'll show you guys that. That's the other thing I wanna use it for is the baseboards for sure. But I'm gonna get everything out, get it charging, and then we'll we'll test it out and see how much how good it is. Okay, so here are all the pieces that it comes with. It's really really lightweight, super small canister. But yeah, let's get it charged up, put it together, and then we'll test it out. Okay, how does it feel, Zara? Is it heavy? Uh, no, it's just it's like a lot. the handle it, part. That's a little heavy. That's is it lighter than the other vacuum? Yes. Okay, Ava, it's your turn. It's really um. Thinner yeah. than the other vacuum because the other vacuum had like um, a big tank right here. Right. Well, this is cordless. Yeah. Yeah. So. Let me see so you. So all the dirt goes you. in that little part. All the dirt goes in that little part, and then we empty it after every use. It's kind of tall. It's actually taller than Ava. Hold it up straight, Ava. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Not taller than me. No, but it is really, really tall. So if you're not that tall of a person. I don't know if this vacuum would be good for you. I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'7". I think it'll be okay with for me, but all right, let's look, let's, let me let the girls use it. One thing that's really nice about this vacuum is that it stands up on its own. And that's one thing with cordless vacs, like you either have to attach it to the wall or lean it down. I didn't want to attach anything to the wall because I don't know, I just don't want to deal with that. I want to be able it, to be able to stand on it, stand up on its own and this does. And this just comes off, hold that, hold this star for me. When you take this off like that and then you put it back up here, boom, again, it's really tall. Zara, can you stand up next to it? <laughs> it's just about a little shorter than you, so. All right, Ava, let's vacuum, okay? Good job, Ava, take your time, not so fast. All right, so Ava's gonna vacuum in here. It's not too bad. It has so many little lights on it. Let's, yeah, the lights are really cute. And we'll see how it turns out. This is just something light, like a light vacuum. I really just wanted this for my stairs. And then I have to go on with my heavy vacuum every week. But this is something that they can use. Okay, so it makes slight vacuum lines. I made these vacuum lines um, just so I can show you guys. It makes slight vacuum lines, but it's definitely not picking up the way my Shark Duo Clean you know, my regular heavy duty vacuum does. So for that reason, I probably would not use it on my carpets, but now I'm gonna test it in the bathroom. Cause you see like stuff like this, it's a real pain in the butt. And the vacuum doesn't really pick up well in here. I usually have to sweep. So I'm gonna see how this cordless vac does. Cause this is really what I wanna use it for. Like over here. So let's see how it does. Let's see how it picks up. Okay, Zara is now gonna Can vacuum over here. Go ahead, baby, cut it off. Wow. Now it works really well in here. Good job. Right here. 
picks up all the little hairs. That's good. All right, so we attach the tool. It's so long that it makes it easy to do the baseboards. Why don't you do over there, baby, so you can see it. The base, do the baseboard, which is this part right here. You see how dusty it is? Another nice feature is you can hold it like that. That will, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think there was a way to make this shorter. Okay, so I took this off and I added the vacuum. Now that's the perfect height for her. See, it comes right to the waist. Now they can vacuum easily. It's gonna be easy for them to vacuum the hardwood floors because if it's doing well in here, it'll do great on your hardwood floors. I just wouldn't recommend it for the vacuum, but I'm definitely gonna test it on the hardwood floors and see how that goes. That little bit of vacuuming, look at all it picked up. Wow, okay. These are little pieces of toilet paper that my kids like to just rip up uh, here in the half bath or the bathroom that's downstairs. So let's see how good the vacuum works on hardwoods. I must say that was pretty good. <laughs> very, very easy. It picked up. I mean, I think this is a great vacuum on hardwoods. We have some nice little dust bunnies here that have been collecting. So let's see how it does on this. on Mac. Not sure if I explained this already, but you do have two different levels of suction power you want. So, and these lights indicate the battery, how full the battery is. I just charge it every time I'm done using it. They also have this max button and you can hear it where it starts sucking harder if you need it, but it does make your battery drain faster when you use that. So let's listen. That's normal. That's max. All right, so one of the main reasons why I bought this vacuum was to test it on for my carpets. Because as much as I love my Shark Duo vacuum, as much as I love this vacuum, it's heavy and it's hard on the stairs. I just needed something lightweight to use on my stairs. So let's test this out. Now I'm not gonna do all the stairs because I'm gonna do a separate video of me shampooing my stairs and I saw a really amazing hack on TikTok with stairs. So I just I'm just gonna test out like Maybe just this one for right now. It's dirty enough. Let's see how it gets in there, especially like the cr creases and the crevices here. Let's see how it does. This is a great vacuum for your kids for sure it picked up right here but like it's hard for it to get up in the corners there i think i'm gonna take the this attachment off and try to get in the corners myself i wish the only thing i wish that this vacuum came with was a little pointy corner piece and i don't believe it did but let me double check to make sure nope that's the one downfall it does not come with that little pointy piece which is like attachment like let me show you like this if it came with a piece like this, it would be perfect for my corners and everything, but it doesn't. So we'll just have to make it work. Let's see. It, it's definitely not picking up the way my shark would obviously it's a much cheaper vacuum but this is something like my kids can do on the stairs and then maybe i'll just use my shark duo when i have the energy girl which isn't often okay I'm just being honest it isn't often but let's see when i put it on max if that helps mm. 
Let's do this one. See? A max. It's just not giving what I needed to give for these carpets. And it is what it is. I still needed one for my hardwoods because my Shark Duo, again, it was really heavy and it was a pain in the butt to try to pull out to vacuum my hardwoods. So I do think it's worth it if you have hardwood floors. Uh, but if you're looking for something with carpet, I don't think it's worth it. All right, y'all, so here's in my kitchen. I have not swept over here on purpose, even though the rest of the kitchen I've been maintaining, but I waited several days on purpose so I can test this vacuum out. This is right next to my kid's snack cabinet, so the crumbs are just there. So let's see how it picks all of this up. Y'all, when I tell you it picked up everything in one pass, it literally picked up everything in one pass, except for the big pieces. You saw me bend down and get those, like a big chip, a little big piece of plastic, and that looks like a leaf or something. All the crumbs, it picked up in one pass. So that's pretty impressive for me, to me, in, uh, for hardwoods, because listen, sweeping, we could easily do this after dinner every single night. I think that I will keep this on the short setting. Here's my hip if you're shorter for my kids so they can easily vacuum as one of their chores every single night. Now it does have another attachment which would bring it all the way up to like right underneath my chest if I wanted something extra long, but like this is fine for me to use too. And I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'7". At the end of the day, this vacuum is giving, okay? It's giving, it's giving what needs to be given for hardwood floors. Girl, it's everything I need for hardwood floors. It's easy to empty, and I'll show you guys that in a second. It's easy to empty. You can clean it. It has a HEPA filter, which was big for me because it's like, it sucks up all the allergens and stuff like that. So that's big. And for it to be have a HEPA filter and be so cheap, that's a huge plus. Again, it's a small cartridge. You empty it every time you're done using it. See, look at how much I picked up in that little bit. All right, let me show you guys how to empty the canister. It's really, really easy. Here's the vacuum. You just lift this top up here and empty it. How easy is that, right? Then you can actually take this whole thing off here. This is where your filter is. You can take this off and clean it. See? Ooh. You can clean this whole thing. Boom. Done. Here's the rolling brush. It picks up a lot of hair, which is great. Need that for my vacuum, I meant for my bathroom. But I'm just gonna get in the habit of just trying to get this out <laughs> instead of uh, waiting too long. It gets so har much harder to take out if you wait too long to try to clean your roller, but it does have a roller and it does pick up the hair, which is what I need for my bathroom upstairs. There's <laughs> three girls in this house, so of course we have a lot of hair. And so just, it's, it's really easy to pull out too. So that's a plus. It's giving what needs to be given, okay? Like to me, is it a Dyson? It's probably just like a smidge less powerful than a Dyson and for the, and a fraction of the price. And see, I'm not impressed by Dysons. I don't think that they're worth the money. I just think that they're aesthetically pleasing to look at. The Dyson cordless vac, that is. I don't know about anything about a Dyson vacuum that's corded. Never used it. But a Dyson cordless vac is just aesthetically pleasing. It's pretty. Uh, I think that's why it's so popular here on YouTube. I think it's just pretty. But as far as functionality, this isn't much worse than a Dyson and it's a fraction of the price. So it's about, you know, what, 20th of the price? So for a hundred, around a hundred bucks, this is giving what needs to be given. Now, if you need a vacuum for both hardwoods and carpet, it's just, it's hard to find. It's really hard to find. It's like, that's, I really needed this for my hardwoods. Now, if you, have a certain budget and you only want a vacuum that is is good on carpet definitely go for something that's good on carpet like my shark duo m i love that vacuum 
I got it a couple years ago and I love it. It really, really does well. Um, now, if you if you have it in your budget to splurge on something for your hardwoods, I would definitely get something like this. Uh, the link for this will be in the description box. Again, it's, it does what needs to be done for hardwoods for sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, leave a comment down below and let me know if you like this type of video, if you want me to, to um, try different things for around the house for cleaning or for just household gadgets, leave a comment down below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.